All right, it's Beagle 5 Gaming here. I just wanted to talk about Star Wars for a couple of minutes. Um, somewhere on the internet, I saw this picture, and I know that it's not real, but it is cool nonetheless. Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really anxious to see what the new episode 9 uh cover art fan uh poster will be like i mean i don't think that it will be kylo ren and the knights of ren on mustafar in vader's castle but you know we'll see i mean it's probably going to feature ray in one way or another she has become the focal point of this new trilogy after all or perhaps it's going to be leia given the fact that people still think that, um, you know, given the fact that, that there's rumors that, that she is being featured in the film quite extensively based on footage they shot for The Force Awakens and for The Last Jedi. So, yeah, I'm really anxious to see, you know, to get something from Episode Nine Now... Um, what will it be named? That's a question that occupies many minds at this moment. Now, I'm wondering, I mean... Now, the question about the name, I mean, if you think about it, it's really centered around this being the last of the three videos of the new trilogy that's you know expecting it to be a trilogy we don't know if there will be an episode 10 or 11 or 12 i think that someday i mean they can expand this indefinitely there will be there will always be a new bad guy in a galaxy far far away who has some kind of you know scheme to kill a lot of people and to subvert a lot of people and you name it so yeah there's that um but being but given the fact that this might be the last of the new trilogy the naming so the name the framing of the name will be probably something like the end of this or welcome to the new this and that you know like the first trilogy a new hope the empire strikes back and then return of the jedi now i wonder i mean the funny part is it was the return of one jedi in uh return of the jedi luke skywalker finally becoming a jedi after he um faced down vader in um you know in the death star um so there's that here's the question will we become a jedi in the sense of will she become you know a jedi in in the way that the Jedi have always protected the galaxy and were organized in a Jedi order and such? Or will she take a more natural route? I mean, it's hinted at in The Last Jedi by Luke, you know, when he is taking, when he takes her to the rock and uh, lets her experience the living force around him basically doing what Qui-Gon Jinn would have done in his prime you know be mindful of the living force Anakin instead of uh just saying here's the light there's the darkness stay away from the dark you know which is basically the Jedi way and the opposite is the Sith way the Sith way is you know we crave power in order to subvert everybody and to gain more power and to become as powerful as we possibly can 
and the Jetta ways to keep that at bay. But those are polar opposites. And I believe that a more natural approach to the force will be the focus of the next film, episode 9. So probably what we are going to see is the return of either what we call the Grey Jedi, you know, uh, like Ahsoka Tano, for instance, or we are going to see a version of Qui-Gon Jinn, somebody who, you know, doesn't let himself be guided by dogma, but lets him be guided by the currents of the Force, you know, where the Force takes him. So, obviously, I'm I'm at a loss for the name for Episode 9. A New Order. I don't think that it will be A New Order. I think that the, the galaxies in chaos, the New Order is probably not strong enough to subvert the galaxy the way that the Empire did. I mean, they just lost their biggest ship and a part of their fleet. And, uh, you know, I suspect that a lot of systems will have taken up arms against the New Order. And that it's going to be a lot more chaos in the galaxy right now. And the New Order will be looking for a way to, you know, establish dominance. But I'm not sure, I mean could be that that jj will take the easy route and say well the new order has established dominance regardless of having lost his it their their mother ship and their a part of their fleet and having not been able to finally snuff out the resistance you know so yeah i mean but but here's the thing if you want to name such an episode you want to give some finality to it so what will be the outcome? Ah, uh, I don't know. Perhaps we'll see something like uh, Star Wars. Uh, you know, uh, Star Wars The Living Force. Or, I don't know, that's too esoteric probably. Uh, Star Wars. Um, yeah, I'm no, I don't know. I, I, I'm at a loss. In any case, um, I wanted to show you this thing here, the Star Wars A New Order poster, which was probably made by a fan. I mean, just look at it. There's a couple of things that, that, that give it away, that give away that it's not really a, a, a an official poster. The first of which is the fact that, the, you know, the reflection of the lightsaber is wonky and... and so there's 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 a there's the shadow of Kylo Ren is great, but why the hell would there be a shadow for the lightsaber? I mean, I don't know. And why would there be this 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 skewed reflection in the surface of the floor? I don't know. So that that's probably one of the things that make me doubt that this is official. I don't I don't think it's official. But it's cool, regardless. I mean, I would love to see the Knights of Ren, you know, being some kind of enforcer band, you know, for Kylo Ren, uh, instead of having one Darth Vader kind of guy, we have now six Darth Vader kind of guys. You know, I, I, some of these might be at the head of, you know, some some army or group of you know a platoon of of, of 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 special troopers or something like that or they might go at it alone in some kind of a bounty hunter fashion you know each having their own ship and or perhaps they band together perhaps it's like this 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 fan has portrayed them as uh two groups of three people you know like a special operations guys who each have their own special, you know, special abilities, and I don't know. It's kind of cool. I also wanted you to see this. I mean, 
the uh, the episode one of the Vader Star Wars film. I mean, it's great. It's absolutely amazing. Right. So what you see here is he is he's having a vision about what might happen in the future, and he's fighting stormtroopers and imperial Im imperial officers, and you know, cutting people to bits and everything, and. It's it, it's put together really well. The the special effects are you know pretty good for for the kind of budget that these guys had. I mean, let's see. It's 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 altogether a pretty pretty cool, pr pretty cool little fan film. I really like it. In the meanwhile, he's choking the emperor. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I really suggest that you watch it if you haven't already. I mean, I'm not so. I mean, it, it's it's very likely that you've seen this this fan film before you even watch my video. I mean, I don't have any subscribers, so <laughs> yeah. There's that. Oh, there we go. I subscribe to because that's something that we need to do right we need to subscribe I, I, I need you to subscribe um, the end. I think this is a cool video I uh, I think you should watch it um, yeah and there's that so let me yeah let me know what you think about all this Star Wars stuff I mean you know what kind of a title for episode 9 do you have in your mind what do you think is going to happen I mean, I'm, I, I would be absolutely thrilled if some of these systems in the galaxy are like, screw you, First Order, you know, we're not going to play ball here. We are going to, you know, be rebellious or, uh, I mean, there's, there's planets like Corellia and Kuat and probably... Um, Mon Cala, where ships can be built. I mean, I don't suppose that those facilities have been torn down, even though the New Republic didn't have any real, you know, capital ships to speak of. Their fleet was anchored at the Hosnian Prime system, and it got destroyed together with the New Republic. But that doesn't mean that there's no shipbuilding capabilities anymore. So... I mean, from a strategic viewpoint, the First Order should secure those planets first because that would enable them to build more ships for themselves. But it's not a given that, that they can capture all of them or that, that they know of every, every shipyard in the galaxy. So that's my hope. My hope is that, that, there's, a, that there's a planet with a shipyard that can churn out some corvettes or destroyers for the new resistance or for the resistance and, uh, you know, basically help fuel or help uh, or enable uh, the construction of a new rebellion, a new alliance that will have ships and be semi-autonomous, be capable of, you know... Uh, bringing the fight to the new order and actually harass them at some points and at some and at some point in time be capable of delivering the battle to the first order that will eventually uh, make it fall so to speak and of obviously there will be the final showdown between Ray and Kylo Ren at some point there might be some people who, you know, uh, turn out to be force sensitive. Uh, I like Broom Kid personally. I think that was a very cool touch. I mean, force sensitive kids are everywhere. They are born. They are not. You know, it's not like it's not like they're manufactured or somebody has put a a a, a cap on the amount of force sensitive kids being born around the galaxy they are probably pretty rare but 
you know, they're being born regardless. And that's how it always was. And that's how it always will be probably because it's just the byproduct of nature. So yeah, I like Broom Kit and what Broom Kit stands for, the fact that it's not over for Force users in the galaxy, even though many people think that Disney is basically trying to extirpate the Force from the Star Wars galaxy. I don't believe that they are. I mean, Broom Kit is probably, uh, is probably a hint to the viewer as to, you know, say, look, Force users are a part of this galaxy. And we'll be seeing them. Will Rey have a band of Jedi? I doubt it. Maybe she will have one or two apprentices. And I hope that these will be new characters. I hope that she somehow encounters some person who shows this affinity for the Force. And she can feel it. She can feel it. He's a he or she is attuned to the Force. And even, even emanates something or does something which opens her eyes and she says wait a second you're a force user i am i'm going to take you with me and we're going to do this adventure together something like that might happen you know we don't know it's all speculation at this time i'm dying to see a new trailer for star wars i'm dying to see a new new art and you know uh so long it's been pretty quiet and uh yeah it's time that uh silence is being uh, is going to be uh, disrupted so let me know in the comments what you think about this kind of speculative video and what you would like to see more i really 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 love star wars i grew up with it i'm 37 years old or almost 37 years old and you know uh i had uh, older nephews and nieces and uh, Star Wars was already a thing on the TV when I was a baby so yeah I grew up with Star Wars and I love it and I want you know I want us to be bound in this love for Star Wars so please leave a thumbs up button to this video subscribe to my channel I mean you'll probably be the first and uh May the force be with you.